Mm-hmm. I see you got the chip. All right, so... I'll talk. What we're doing here is Nate and Zach are making a wiring harness for coil unplug for his Miata. So these are R8 coils that we got from Junker. What were they, in A6? Yeah, they're from Audi A6. Yeah, the Audi A6 with the V6. Um, they're good coils. So now we're making a, a little wiring harness that connects to the uh, plugs on there. And then this, so this connects to the plugs, and then this and plugs into where the what the coil pack? Yeah. Where the stock me out of coil pack would plug into. Yeah. There's two and it's um they fire in pairs. Yeah, so you got one and four here. <clears throat> and then we're gonna wire up two and three. That seems kinda weird though that it's still way spark even though you have individual coil. I could wire it sequential, but it's like I'm gonna have to, it wouldn't be plug and play anymore yeah, if I did would. that. And then these um these two thick brown ones are uh, ground. This one's the little signal wire. Hang on, let it focus. Let it focus. You got two okay, ground, there we go. two grounds, a power, and then a signal. And then if we go outside, I could show you the stock ones. You go back here, and here's the whole coil pack. Mm -hmm. And you can see there's two plugs here, and they fire in pairs. I got it held in with this because I can't get the electrical connector out. But you just unclip this and this. This one's for one and four, I think, and this one's for two and three. They got numbers on it. But basically, you just unplug those and plug it right into the harness Zach's making. And if you could get really close, but it's kind of hard to see, there's like three in each. Yeah, you can see it. For the older Miatas, you'd use this third pin for the tachometer, but on the 97s, it's part of the ECU, so it's not even pinned. So, I mean, if you see our wiring harness, we push that pin out just for the sake of wiring. Can't wait. Look at how. Y'all put a turbo in it? We did. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got her with police ideas. <laughs> Is that in the video? <laughs> was that part of the yeah, recording? <laughs> the coolest police ever. Alright, here's a, our coil pack set up. It's two harnesses that'll go about like that. I'll plug into one of those. Make sure these plug in. So do they plug in? That's the question. It's supposed to. Oh, nice. Very nice. It's not going to have as much. Um, oh, that's tight. It's supposed to have the grooves here, but I couldn't find any with the grooves. No, but it fits. It's fine. Okay. There's the second harness there. All right. So these. I'm going to tuck the oil on in. in a minute. Two and three. So these will go pretty much like that. Mm -hmm. Here. Mm -hmm. These angles might be a little different. There we go. So it'll be pretty much. We're gonna tape and loom it like that. That uh, looks hot. At a 45 degree angle. All right, we're back inside. The car did not start up, but we. I think we got the pin out wrong, so we're depinning this and just switching the order around. We have a multimeter that's out of batteries. Hopefully you can't see my address here. <laughs> but we're switching the 12 volt and grounds because we thought 12 volt would be the fattest pin, but it's actually a different one. 12 volt goes to black and white, I think, on the 97. There's not really any good diagrams for this. Alright, we're going to try this again now that we revised the pins. Just going to let it prime. Clutch it in. Hey, how about Holy that? shit. Wow. It didn't work. Right away. Huh. Ignore my idol because I have a, a valve coming in. Dude, this fucking worked. Cool. Are they getting like super turn yet? Yeah. No, good. Thank you, man. <laughs> Ignore the rattles. <laughs> oh, I can have to do that. Oh, 
Okay. It does actually idle a lot better. Yeah. That's that's really. You used to backfire because it yeah. was like going up. And yeah, it's really good. Cool. What's up, everyone? This is gonna be kind of a follow-up, I guess, to the rest of the parts of the videos. It's just gonna be um, why you would want to do this, and um, you know the cost of everything. So these coils are only like $25 brand new and you need two of these special plugs that I got that plug into the uh, stock coil pack these were like $10 each and then $10 shipping so it was around like $30 for the clips and if these were brand new which they aren't I bought them from pull apart these would be like a hundred bucks so really it's cheap and it'd be cheaper almost than just replacing the whole coil pack and everything with it and you get all this extra room at the back of the head to I don't know if you want to do a coolant reroute or something it just looks better too um, you're still gonna have to find a way to hold these up and like a mounting plate because they don't have little holes like the uh, Toyota ones do but there's um it's this Australian company on YouTube that tests a bunch of stuff like 2JZs and whatnot and they tested a bunch of coil packs and these were like seventh place out of 16 or something they had a bunch of Nissan stuff above and then like AEM of course but these are really, really cheap and a lot of people use them on like SRs and stuff and they're pretty popular and they're super easy to get a hold of um, yeah I got these from a junkyard A6 so yeah, you can turn the dwell time down. The stock ones, the stock coil pack is like two or three times longer charging than this. So these like are a way better spark. I think my idle was better. It didn't break up under boost even with all the uh, dwell time taken down. Um, yeah, it's still set up as wasted spark though. And um, you know, you're gonna have to use it as like mirroring two channels for uh, one and four and two and three. Uh, I think the only way you could make it fully sequential and not wasted um, spark would be if you ran new wires all the way back to the ECU, which you could do, but you're going to be making a harness. This is totally plug and play, so I could go back to the stock coil pack if these burn up. Um, I've driven like 15 minutes on these and they didn't get hot or anything like I've heard. There's only a couple people that have done this and none of them like documented anything. but. I haven't heard anything or felt anything about these burning up like some people thought. They got about as hot as the engine bay did. They weren't like electronically hot. Um, so yeah, it's just a pretty clean install, pretty cheap. Um, I'll try and draw something on MS Paint or something, a wiring diagram. Because we did get the pins wrong, but you could go in with a multimeter on your car and just make sure you have 12 volt and signal right. Um, there's a Miata turbo form post for converting the Toyota coil on plugs. But um I didn't understand their pinout cuz they had like one four plug thing that all the coils went to when there's two here and even if you chase it back to the fuel harness that the ignition harness connects to, that's like a eight pin thing and they're different colors. So I don't really know what they're talking about, but I'll post my own diagram if you want to do this. And yeah, I already said like how the uh, Volkswagen coils are pinned out, so I'll put that in there too. Uh, yeah, anything else I'll leave a link to in the comments or description or uh, Google Sheets or something so anyone can see it. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll put a video of me doing a poll um, with these in.